In this video, we're going to focus on finding the determinant of a 2x2 two two matrix and also of a 3x3 three three matrix. So let's start with the basics, the 2x2 two two matrix. Here, let's say this is uh, A, C, B, and D. So it's going to be equal to A times D minus B times C. That's how you can find the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. So let's work on some examples. Let's say if this is 3, 5, negative 4, 7. So it's going to be 3 times 7 minus 5 times negative 4. 3 times 7 is 21. Negative 5 times negative 4 is positive 20. And when you add them, this will give you 41. Now it's your turn. For the sake of practice, try this one. Negative 7, 8, 4, negative 3. So it's going to be negative 7 times negative 3, and then minus 4 times 8. Negative 7 times negative 3, that's 21. Negative 4 times 8 is negative 32. 21 minus 32 is negative 11. So that's how you can find the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. Now what about a 3 by 3 matrix? So let's say this is A1, A2, A3, and then B1, B2, B3, C1, C2, C3. So let's go over the formula first. The first thing you want to do is get rid of the first row and the first column. And notice what you have left over. B2, C2, B3, C3. So you're going to use A1, and it's going to be reduced to a 2 by 2 matrix. So it's going to be A1, and then B2, C2, B3, C3. So when you cross out row 1 and column 1, you'll be left with B2, C2, B3, C3. Now, let's move on to the next one. So it's going to be minus. So instead of using A1, we're going to use B1. B1 is in the first row and the second column. So what's left over is A2, A3, and C2, C3. That's going to be in the next 2x2 uh, two two matrix. So it's going to be negative B1, and then A2, A3, C2, C3, and then plus. The next one is going to be C1. C1 is in row 1, column 3. So what we have left over is A2, B2, A3, B3. So it's going to be C1, A2, A3, B2, B3. And then you know how to evaluate a 2x2 two two matrix, because we covered that already. So now let's work on an example. So let's say we have 2, 4, negative 3, 5, 7, 6, negative 8, 1, and 9. So feel free to pause the video and work on this example. So we're going to use 2 first. So it's going to be, we're going to put the 2 in front. And once we use the 2, we need to get rid of row 1 and column 1. So we're going to use 7, 6, 1, 9. So that's going to be inside the 2 by 2 matrix. And then minus. Now we're going to use the 4. And we're going to get rid of row 1, column 2. So we're going to have 5, negative 8, and 6, 9. So it's a minus 4. And then 5, negative 8, 6, 9. Now the next number that we have is negative 3. So we're going to get rid of row 1 and column 3. So we have a negative 3 on the front. And then we're going to write what we see here. 5, 7, negative 8, 1. So that's how you can simplify the 3 by 3 matrix into 3 2 by 2 matrices or matrices. Now let's evaluate this 2 by 2 matrix. 
So it's 2. And then it's going to be 7 times 9 minus 1 times 6. So multiply these two first, 7 and 9, and then minus 1 times 6. The next one's going to be 5 times 9 minus negative 8 times 6. So first we have a negative 4, and then 5 times 9 minus 6 times negative 8. And then we're going to have negative 3 times 5 times 1, which is 5, minus negative 8 times 7, which is negative 56. So 2 times, I mean 7 times 9 is 63. 1 times 6 is 6. 5 times 9 is 45. Negative 6 times negative 8, that's positive 48. And then we have 5 minus negative 56, which is like 5 plus 56, so that's 61. 63 minus 6, that's 57. 45 plus 48, that's going to be 93. Negative 3 times 61 is negative 183. 2 times 57, that's 114. And 4 times 93, that's 372 minus 183. So if we go ahead and combine these last three numbers, this is going to give us negative 441. So that's going to be the determinant of the 3 by 3 matrix. Let's go ahead and work on another example. Let's say this is 5, 7, negative 8, 4, negative 3, 6, 1, 7, and negative 9. Go ahead and calculate the determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix. So the first number is going to be 5. And if we get rid of the first row in the first column, we're going to get negative 3, 6, 7, negative 9. Next, we're going to use the 7. So if we take away the first row in the second column, it's going to be 4, 1, and 6, negative 9. And then the last one, negative 8. So if we take away row 1, column 3, we're left with 4, negative 3, 1, 7. Now let's go ahead and evaluate the 2 by 2 matrices. So first we have negative 3 times negative 9, which is positive 27, and then minus 7 times 6, which is 42. And then it's going to be negative 7 times 4 times negative 9, that's negative 36, minus 6 times 1, which is 6. And then this is going to be minus 8. 4 times 7 is 28. And then 1 times negative 3 is going to be minus negative 3. 27 minus 42, that's negative 15. Negative 36 minus 6 is negative 42. And 28 minus negative 3, that's 28 plus 3, that's 31. 5 times negative 15 is negative 75. Negative 7 times negative 42, that's a positive 294. And 8 times 31, that's negative 248. So if we combine these three numbers, this is going to give us negative 29 as our final answer. So that's the determinant of the 3 by 3 matrix. By the way, if you want to get more videos on algebra, trigonometry, pre-calculus, physics, general chemistry, organic chemistry, if you want to find more videos on these topics, feel free to check out my playlist. Or you could subscribe to my channel and get more information on this. At my channel, you could find like playlists on these types of videos so you can search for whatever topic you need help in. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.